Famous as one of the countries that created the world's greatest main battle tank, MBT, Germany continues to strengthen its presence by developing new future tanks that are potential successors to the Leopard MBT family. Currently, the only tank that has appeared in the new millennium and is ready for operation is the T-14 Armada from Russia, which is predicted to be involved in the ongoing Russian-Ukrainian war. In response to the T-14 Armada, through the defense company Rheinmetall, the country of Bavaria launched the new KF-51 Panther tank. KF itself is an abbreviation of Kettenfahrzeug which is a chain-wheeled vehicle. The KF-51 tank's public debut was at the Eurosatori 2022 International Defense Exhibition in Paris, France. As a future tank, the KF-51 offers new standards in all areas, including its network, protection, weapons, reconnaissance, and mobility. The KF-51 can be easily updated and equipped with the latest capabilities and functions. The tank adopts an open, modular architecture and an advanced NGVA system. The KF-51 features a fully integrated, comprehensive and weight-optimized protection concept, combining active, reactive and passive protection technologies. The most attractive feature is its active protection against KE threats. This increases protection without reducing system weight. To ward off threats from above, the KF-51 is fitted with Rheinmetall's own overstrike protection system, TAPS. Meanwhile, the rosy smoke barrier system works quickly to hide the KF-51 from enemy observation. Thanks to the panoramic SEOSS optical sensor and EMES primary engagement target set, the commander and gunner can both observe and engage targets independently of each other, and IR optics with an integrated laser rangefinder are available for both. Additionally, via the display in the fighting compartment, the crew has a 360 degrees around the clock view of the vehicle's surroundings. As its main armament, the KF-51 carries a 130mm smoothbore Rheinmetall FGS, future weapon system, gun. Its caliber is much larger than the Russian T-14 Armada which is only 125mm. The KF-51 applies an automatic ammunition loading system with 20 bullets ready to fire. The FGS can fire kinetic energy KE, rounds as well as programmable airburst ammunition and match training rounds. The KF-51's secondary armament consists of a coaxial 12.7mm machine gun and a Rheinmetall Natter Remote Control Weapon Station RCWS, with a 7.62mm machine gun. The KF-51 turret is also integrated with the Hero 120 locomotion ammunition launcher from Uvision. This increases the ability to attack targets outside the direct line of sight. The integrated unmanned aerial reconnaissance system increases crew situational awareness in the combat area and around the vehicle. The crew can also carry out reconnaissance under armor protection and share results with other friendly teams in a networked manner. All weapon systems are connected to the commander's and gunner's optics and fire control computers via the fully digital NGVA architecture and will also be supported by artificial intelligence AI. This 59-ton tank is equipped with an MTUMB 873 Ka 501V12 diesel engine with a capacity of 1,103 kilowatts and a tank capacity of 1,100 liters of diesel. The tank has a maximum operating range of around 500 kilometers. KF-51 with a futuristic appearance is operated by a crew of three. It consists of the driver, commander and weapons operator.